It occurred to me that many of us have probably changed our work setup at home in order to accommodate for the quarantine. Studio tours, office tours, that sort of thing is one of my favorite things to watch on YouTube. So I figured I'd contribute my quarantine office tour. Here we go. We originally got this space to be able to do lots of at-home projects, like musical performances, live streams, of course, uh, photo shoots, meeting with clients in sort of a dedicated office environment. But of course, since the quarantine, our needs have changed, and the type of work I do has changed significantly as well. For example, instead of teaching on campus or going out and recording audio and video interviews, whatever, on location, I've been doing a lot more lecturing at home. I also recently got hired by the Toronto Film School to develop their audio principles course, so I have to record a tons, of, tons of lectures of that. Then there's YouTube videos as well as editing projects from before the quarantine happened, as well as mixing. So this is my current setup, ready for whatever I need to do for the day. Editing and mixing, recording lectures and tutorials. That's also my video conferencing setup so that I have a professional looking result. I got this light here. It's kind of hard to see against the white background. Got that light there for recording videos at night. By the way, I'm reviewing that light in my next video, so keep an eye out for that. Mic setup for recording my tutorials, as well as a mic here for dubbing or voiceovers. And of course, there's that very necessary sound blanket. If you're on YouTube and you're struggling with audio, one of the best things you can do is give your room a little treatment. I had some plans to build some sound panels once summer came around, cause this room definitely needs it. But honestly, this has really stepped up. You know what, let me just show you the before and after. Let me just, instead of describing it to you, let me just show you what this setup sounds like before and after, or rather with the blanket and without the blanket. So this is my video and audio setup from uh, this perspective, sort of the desk setup. Now I'm gonna keep the microphone in the same place and I'm gonna keep my Pro Tools settings, my audio settings exactly the same. Now let's take out the sound blanket and see how the sound changes. So now this is the exact same setup. Oh my God, it sounds so bad. <laughs> So now this is the exact same setup. The microphone is in the same place. The audio settings are exactly the same, but without that sound blanket. There's sort of this very early reverberation tail that just sort of masks. Oh, it's, it's really difficult to actually concentrate on what I'm saying. I'm gonna put that sound blanket back. But at least you can see how much of a difference it makes to have proper sound treatment when making your videos. So anyways, yeah, that's a very necessary component. And lastly, I'm just gonna show you what I have behind this, uh, behind this blanket. We have, I sort of created this other room. Here I've got my iMac, I've got the printer, charging station, some storage. I don't, I don't really love this room separation thing that I have going on, but the setup on that side is super streamlined, which is what I need for the time being. And that's what I found that works. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little studio tour. So how has your setup changed during these quarantine times? Shoot me a comment, or honestly, do a video reply. Is that still a thing? Do people still do that? Anyways, do whatever you want. Hit that like button if you like this video. For those of you who are already subscribed, honestly, thank you. It really makes my day to go through the comments, reply, have some semblance of normalcy during this time, and I really appreciate that you guys are sticking around. So genuinely, thank you. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, hit that subscribe button. I typically do audio video sort of content, behind the scenes, vlogs, reviews. So if you're into that sort of thing, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Genuinely, thank you. Peace.